What's up guys, my name's Evan. I'm here today to review this Vaxxus Atom for you. Now you've probably seen their HDMI version that's been out for a few months now, but they're just about to release this SDI version and they sent it to me to review for you. Okay, so once we open the box, it's pretty simple. It just comes with your instruction manual, uh, a USB-C cable, and then you've got the transmitter and receiver right there. Both really small and compact. Uh, it's packaged really well. And uh, you know, let's just get into some of the cool features about it. So first of all, they power real simply with a Sony battery. They just click in and you're ready to go. Aside from being battery powered, your other option is to power it via the USB-C connection on the side. You can plug the USB into a battery bank or some other power source. Uh, an accessory I think that would be really cool for Vaxxas to come out with would be a D-Tap to USB-C connection. Personally, that's how I prefer to power all my accessories. Batteries, they just add weight, especially for things like gimbal work. You know, I try to shed as much weight as possible. So for my other accessories, I always try to use D-Tap cables and power off of a V-mount or other power source that's already on my gimbal. Another cool feature about the Atom is aside from transmitting from the transmitter to the receiver, it can also transmit to its app on an iOS or Android device. It can transmit to up to three devices. And, you know, being the age of COVID right now, something like that is a really nice feature. I was just on a shoot with a client and they were very COVID sensitive. And it was really nice to be able to say, hey, if you guys download this app, my transmitter will transmit to you over Wi-Fi and everybody can maintain safe social distancing. And you know, my clients were thrilled about that because we were able to connect the transmitter and receiver to a, a client monitor, as well as allow some other people on the client's team to view from their phone. So let's get into the specifics of the performance of this unit. It has less than 100 milliseconds of latency, which is not something I would necessarily trust for pulling focus. In some situations, it may be okay for pulling focus, but if you're doing a lot of gimbal work and you're going in and out and you're covering a lot of distance, it may be something you don't wanna trust for that. You may wanna to upgrade to some of their more professional products, but as far as just client monitoring, this is a really great solution. It can transmit up to 500 feet, and as I said, less than 100 milliseconds of latency. You have two mounting options for the Vaxxas Atom. You have a quarter 20 connection on the bottom and on the side. So whatever is better for you for putting it on your rig, you can put it on the side or on the bottom. You've got three buttons on the bottom to toggle through your menu settings. If you press and hold the middle button, it'll get you into your menu where you can access the password to link to the device via Wi-Fi. You can go into the other settings, uh, set the fan settings and other things like that. Once you have the devices powered on, they will automatically connect and scan for the cleanest frequency to be able to send signal back and forth between one another. Vaxxas offers this product for less than $400, which if you ask me is a pretty amazing deal. 10 years ago when I got into this, I really wanted a video transmitter and most transmitters were several thousand dollars. So to be able to get something that will transmit full HD 1080p with very, very little latency is a pretty amazing accomplishment. And I got to tip my hat to Vaxxas for being able to bring a product like this to market for people that are just getting into video production and want to own their own video transmitter, but maybe they don't have 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 dollars to spend on a professional, professional unit. If you happen to be interested in a product that will have zero latency, Vaxxas has a lot of other products. I also own the Storm 800, and I've been completely amazed with how this performs. I've run it on cable cams, at concerts with 10,000 people, 500 feet of line over a big amphitheater, and I've had zero dropout, zero latency, and the performance on their professional grade products is pretty amazing as well and the prices can't be beat. So if you've been considering picking up a transmitter for yourself to use in your productions,
definitely don't overlook the Vaxxas Atom. For less than $400, it's pretty hard to beat. And as a company, they're amazing to deal with. I hope you guys have found this review helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly on Instagram at directedbyevanmore. And good luck on your next shoot.